always ready. She says that every time. Hey, everybody, how are y'all doing? Kathy. This is Kathy. My name's Molly. Together we're Linen and Scraps. Linen and Scraps. And Kathy's been scrapping. Is that not the perfect name for us or it, what? Wait till you see. Wait till oh, you see. Oh my uh, gosh. Don't even ask me. What have you been doing? <laughs> wait till you see. For those of you who have come back and joined us, thank y'all so much for coming back. It's our pleasure, I tell you. We have fun. Uh, we have fun. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who might be new, this is a channel about cross stitch, but the reason the name is Linen and Scraps is because I was a scrapbooker, she was a cross stitcher. Right. I've infected her, she's infected me, and now we're doing <laughs> Now it's, a tr it's trouble. Yeah, she's doing paper crafting and I'm doing cross oh, stitching. Oh gosh. Mostly about cross stitch. Mostly though. about cross stitch. Okay. And dilly bread. And dilly and food. For oh, those food. of you wanting the dilly bread recipe. You can screenshot it. There it is. You don't have to screenshot it. If We're Kathy gonna, lets me, I'm going to put it on my gonna put uh, it blog. on their blog. So you can go and uh, download it or do whatever you and need it to. it was so good. Because I need it. I know. Okay. Uh, it what that excellent. was is Kathy had brought me over last time some dilly bread. Well, I called it dilly bread. She called it dilly bread. It's dilly bread. It's dill bread. Yeah, dill bread. But it, the, uh, I think on my original recipe I had, I, it was titled dilly bread. So that's... So cross stitching, a little bit of paper crafting, and cooking. And so, recipes. And recipes. Oh. Okay, Kathy, I have a bunch of stuff. I don't have a bunch of stuff. You you can start because you I think you've got a lot more than I do. No. Yeah. Shh, wait till y'all <clears throat> wait till y'all see. Okay. I had started a hashtag uh fully finished February twenty twenty four. Yes. And uh I'll put the hashtag down there because I don't really remember what it is. But I wanted <laughs> to challenge myself. I had I think thirteen yeah. things that I had stitched last year that I had never fully finished. So I've been fully finishing. Now I have five of them at the uh, frames frame coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, frames coming in hopefully in another mm -hmm. week or so. So before the end of February, I want to get them done. And all. But I was able to do a few things. Should I just jump into those? You today? should. What is the date today anyway? The 20th. Today is the 20th. 20th. Yesterday was my hubby's birthday. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you celebrate nice? We did. It was yeah. fun. So anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to start off with... Um, and I apologize, I do not remember what all the names of these patterns are. If you want to know, I can sure look it up and all. But this was a box I had gotten from Country Sampler, Country Sampler uh, a while back. And it's got, it was made out of wooden rulers. Well, the outside of the box didn't really show the rulers good. So I'm like, what the heck do I do with this box? <sighs> so it was perfect for this little stitch. It's called Gathering Stitches. That's and really, uh, really I love it. Now, hold on to that thought. So, what else I did was I got a box of uh, food things from my son. From, I'm going to say, is it Harry and David or something? I don't know who it is. But anyway, uh, I don't good know stuff. Harry or David. Well, they do good stuff. But anyway, uh, in there, there was some chocolates or something that came in this little wooden box. This pattern, always forward, never backwards, and it quotes Jean Lee from the attic, um, is from Mrs. Flossie, mm -hmm. I think. She's on Etsy. She's on Etsy. Yep. And I got some cute patterns. And so I took that wooden box and I put in the corner an old spool I had. I wrapped some red ribbon around it, a, a pair of scissors. I had my husband cut down a ruler and I put a piece of metal on the oh, edge of it. Oh, did he cut it down for you? Well, yeah. And then I put a thimble that I don't use because my fingers are bigger than thimbles. And I'll, But isn't that cute together? Makes a nice it, little... It does. A nice Very little silhouette. Sweet. Here, I'll do it like that. Anyway, so I can't... I like it. My salute to red. Yeah. I'm not really a red stitcher most of the time. But isn't it nice to have a single color sometimes Yes, ma'am. And not have to fool around? Yes. I do like that. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. I totally agree. So those were two finishes. I nice don't want to bore y'all with my stuff. I always, Kathy's stuff is so pretty. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to go quick. Uh, the next one is, this was uh, um, one I had done last year thinking I was going to do a pillow. But I bought this frame at... Hmm, uh, home Goods, is that it? Oh, Home Goods, maybe, yeah. Yeah, Home Goods. And uh, they have some pretty little frames all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, and the, it was cheap. The frame was cheap. And it was a perfect little fit for my little Easter bunny. So I love it. You know, so that was super easy. Keeping on with Easter, this was a pattern that uh, I had finished. I love that. And Kathy came and helped me pick out what am I putting on the edge here. This, just enough. Just enough. This piece of fabric was, I had bought a sampler book. You know how you go to a drapery store or something and they have those books you yeah. leaf through? So all the pieces of fabric were only this big. The little upholstery. So I had used those to make a, a needle book or some mm -hmm. other things. Well, this was one of the patterns of fabric I had left, and it was perfect. 
for it's this the colors. Little I love the colors on that. So that's a little Easter pattern, and I love his little fluffy tail. I used. I those. think I have that pattern. I think I bought it after you started <laughs> stitching it. It's a whisper thread. I th uh, what I yeah. like putting a little fluffy on him. Anyway, so now I was excited right. adding these trims. Wait till you see some of Kathy's things. All the pretty stuff she adds. I gotta. I need to go back and. Foo foo. Foo. Add some foo foo. But anyway, so that's. Another I say foo foo. I'm sure that's wrong, isn't it? Foo fo foom, or I don't know. I think foo foo's perfect. Yeah. Okay. I bought a frame from Hobby Lobby last year. You know, table decor on sale, and it said on it was a white erase board, and it said you know enter your pin here or something so your guest could come into your home and see your Wi-Fi connection. You know, and hook up to your internet. Well, it was perfect. This mm -hmm. is just strutting. From uh, Teresa Cobert, I think. And that frame was perfect for it. I love that. I love it. And I just added a little bow and bell to the uh, deer and all. And I used Whisper on it, too. I like it. I do, too. Yeah. like that. So, anyway, so that was another quickie finish. I like that. Now, this pattern is was a freebie from Cherry Hill Stitchery right. on Facebook. On Etsy, she's uh, Cherry Hill Stitchery or Stitcher, I think. Anyway... Uh, but she had a freebie last year for Valentine that was a stitch along. I loved it. So I had to join her Facebook page, get that pattern. And a bunch of people, a bunch, were listing patterns. I mean, uh, listing how finishes of it and all. Different, all of them all. different yeah. finishes. Well, you know, I have a Cricut and I play mm -hmm. with, you know, cutting stuff and all. So out of my Cricut, I cut from felt a little bit of trim and a heart and leaves that kind of mirrored the pattern it's really and then I put a little sweet. pin a little button and cut the back off of there I love how that mm -hmm. came out mm -hmm. now this was a cheapy 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 uh, thing from Hobby Lobby mm -hmm. left over from Christmas I was teasing Kathy I said originally it was two dollars and 49 cents it was on sale 70 percent off so that brings it down to 75 cents mm -hmm. <laughs> for the back and piece and it came with a little um, string yeah did you I didn't care that, took that so off. I'm just gonna put a hanger on the back yeah. But that was super easy. Now, this trim on the edge is another. I used my Cricut to cut out felt. That was pretty easy. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay, Kathy. It looks real crackety. How you been doing? I'm, I have more, but I want to let her talk. Well, see, mine are all of hers put together into one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, you all know I was working on a flight into Egypt. And I finished it fully framed. And I will tell you that I did look high and low, went to a couple frame shops for a frame, looked under my bed for an antique frame. I'm trying to hide them. And why? Because. <laughs> and I actually um, ended up back at Hobby Lobby. I got this frame at Hobby Lobby. A funky donkey needs it's a funky a, frame. It's a wonky donkey is what they said. Wonky, wonky donkey, donkey needs a wonky frame. So this is the frame that I, and I did have to take it and have it cut down. So was it um, a ready-made frame? Or yeah. you picked up the mold? Ready-made frame. Okay. Oh, well, what a lucky find. Ready-made frame. And this is, and I pulled it up here, just give me the Uno Momento pull the bar. This is. I want y'all to see that donkey. Yeah, he's so Christmas cute. Christmas time sampler, S, or excuse me, ALW1858. And this is um, by Samplers Remembered. So, if you're all, this is now two of my flight into Egypt because I still have my uh, two, one from Scarlet Letter and the other from uh, the Wishing Thorn that I don't want to. And the me. colors are so gorgeous. I mean, they're so, so bright. Speaking of colors, this one um, I did, I converted it myself to Danish flower thread. Uh -huh. This is pretty primitive, kind of matches the frame. But this is, these are my colors. I don't know if you guys can see what I did. I just copied the key. And then converted the colors to, you can kind of see the colors on there. Molly, maybe we can take a picture of it and post it to your blog. Oh, okay. Okay. And then that way people, if they want to know my conversion, it's not 100%. And there were some colors that I filled in just to fill in because that's what I had in my box. And I wasn't going to spend $8 in shipping for two skeins of Danish flower mm -hmm. thread. And you picked a pretty font, but it's going to be hard to read. But <laughs> you did. You can get Danish flower thread from the Danish Handcraft Guild. 
And I, I thought I double checked. I thought Essam Player in Canada also sold the Danish flower thread. So that's what I stitched that one on. So that one is done. Happy mm -hmm. to say. It's and then, so um, oh, can I get that one back? Oh, sure. sure. I want to just she quick. I'm keeping it. <laughs> want to just quick talk. You know, Molly has kitty cats, and I'm stuffed up like you wouldn't believe today here. So I wanted to talk to you really quickly because I, I did frame this one. I, I frame all of mine. Um, if I can get them cut down, I'll take them home. I pin them then. But I did want to tell you, I spoke um, in depth to the framer that I go to. His name is Rudy, and he's got Rudy's Rudy's frame shop over on Donovan here in El Paso. Um, he put me on. So the rabbit, which is, which is the indent in your frame, um, once I got the glass and the foam core and a backing, that became flush where there's no room for a point, gun point to get in to secure it. And he suggested these little guys. And you can tell where he had his hands, they were dirty. It holds it in perfect, they hold it in perfectly. So once it's framed to hold it secure, these little things are just drilled with holes and there's enough, enough of pressure that all the way around, I think I put 10 of them in, holds the glass, the foam core, and the backing in perfectly. And those so, are normally the things that swing around on a yeah, picture frame yeah, yeah, to hold the to things hold in them. place. But and you can secure. buy those at Hobby Lobby. And then I, did, I brought this one back because we talked about this one too. This is the Bristol sampler that I stitched for uh, Claudia, Dutch Treat Design. This one is um, the Angels the Angels Guard, the one guard, the one you love. I, and I looked at it thinking, okay, maybe more Eastery. But I framed this one too. But again, I had trouble with, there was no room for a push uh, a point gun to push it in to secure it. So Rudy, what a guy. Now I will put the paper backing on it. Suggested these. And again, you drill your hole and this hole holds it in enough of them all the way around, holds it in perfectly. And those are normally meant to go the other way yeah. and hang something. Yeah, you know? just hang So yours. clever use So of yeah, because, that. you know, I've been framing my stuff for ages, for a long, long, long time. And I really struggled when it became where it was flush to where that rabbit wasn't deep enough for your glass, for your, especially if you use spacer, glass spacer. <clears throat> your foam cord, the stitching, and then the backing, you have no room. And I've so, seen some people just tape it. I'm mm -hmm. not saying I haven't done that myself. It won't That's going to give away. It will give away tape. Yeah. You can see, I'll use some tape just on the back of my... Of That's my, holding your fabric. That's, That's just holding my there. fabric. Yeah. yeah, just holding my fabric secure. Great but ideas. but uh, this is a beautiful sampler, and for Easter, too, so I thought I would bring that with, as long as we were talking about frames. And if you're a purple person, these are the prettiest Very colors pretty. of purple. Very pretty spring, and that's the Dutch treat. Um, the angels guard the one you love, and that was uh, one of the Bristol designs. I would imagine uh, it's going to be released because it, it, it will be a year. Mm -hmm. They're already talking about the next uh, Bristol, so all is good. Kathy, those are so pretty. Yeah, I like them. Thank you. Oh yours are pretty too. Oh well, thank you. In a whole different vein. Yeah. Okay, I have a few more finishes yeah. I'm going to show. Please and then do. You've got some things you're working yeah. on that are so. I got pretty. a couple things I want to show. Okay. And uh, uh, next time I'll have hopefully have my pictures uh, in the frames, the ones that uh, the five things that I bought frames for. Okay, this was a frame I bought from Michaels. It was originally twelve ninety nine on sale. I had a coupon for twenty five percent off. It wasn't during a picture frame sale, mm -hmm. which is weird for me to buy something not on, not sale. on sale. But anyway, needless to say, the frame was too big. This is an odd shaped little thing. It's a pumpkin house, and um, so I bought this frame. And while Kathy was over and we were doing some paper crafting, I had this um, metal piece of things, and I just on my computer typed the word grateful framed it in there, put a piece of ribbon on the bottom. So I'm it okay fills with how it, it came really out. Nice, yeah. I'm okay with how it came out. There's I see a lot of people doing their own framing when they, you watch YouTube and uh -huh. they'll be talking about framing and mm -hmm. but, a lot uh, of people doing their own. Well, 12 dollars minus 25% comes down about well, eight bucks or something. It's like, I mean, this is a pretty I, good deal. I got to use an old piece of stuff. I like it. I'm all about having something professionally done. But when you do as many as I do, many samplers, it's, you know, 
three hundred dollars for a professionally framed pieces. Well, and I tease Kathy. I've got more we, wall space than I have counter space. Yeah. So I don't. You know, I love pillows. I love when y'all show those dough bowls yeah. and have all those little stand-up things. I don't have a lot of place for that in so this house. So we compromise. Yeah, we have tall walls. We have tall, tall, I tall ceilings. I am now working my way up <laughs> yeah. my stairway on the opposite side uh -huh. so that when people, you can't see it from any other side unless you're headed up my stairway. Uh -huh. But it's wall. You know. To see, yeah, so it's filled in. So Framing is a lot of times my yeah. choice. I like I, and I love to pin. I, I mm -hmm. pin all mine with stainless steel pins, and I've done it for years. And the other thing too, if you're into pinning um, or or uh, stringing, the I didn't realize. I guess I knew this, but it never was uh, provided to me as a suggestion. Rudy, once again, home car can be is comes in various sizes. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for, if your rabbit is very narrow. You can do it on, and actually, I did the flight into Egypt on a much narrower foam core, mm -hmm. pinned it in, um, which gave me a little bit room, at least to come flush. Where, if I wanted to put a paper backing on it, I could. Mm -hmm. So, but this worked out perfectly. I love his ideas on those other things. He's great, uh, and I talked to him. You can go there. I've got to cut go, him down because mm -hmm. I had when I went to Hobby Lobby, the nicest, nicest young man waited on me. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was so nice, and. Uh, I love Hobby Lobby, but they're changing up their store. And yeah, I noticed and I, that too. They didn't have a whole lot of frames to choose nope. from. No, nope. you know? and while no, I'm saying no. that, um, a good half of the frames were ultra modern. Right. You know, which not is all, good. That's where the home all. decor is going and all. Yeah. But not appropriate for this stuff yeah, necessarily. For what we, but anyway, so I found five. I had like eight things I wanted framed, but I only found five that frames there. You felt would work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then some of my smaller pieces they can't cut under five and a half, so I'd have had to do some finagling and all, yeah, kind of thing. I'm gonna finagle. I'm gonna finagle. But anyway, um, I got a big one. But I gotta tell Rudy out because uh, <laughs> I think he he'll have some different frames and all. Yeah. So and then, okay, I'm gonna get my soapbox here. So I go to Michaels uh -oh. after I went to Hobby Lobby. Think well, they'll have some pretty frames. Not so much. Well, they're not on sale. Well, now you and I, every, the whole world knows. They're going to be on They're going to be on sale. <laughs> so now i got to go back to Michael's another week. Just sit, just sell them to me at the sale yeah. price. And <laughs> While you got me. I didn't realize either that Hobby Lobby's are 50% off. And I'm like, oh, day. deal day. But they're always 50% off. They're always 50% off. off. But, so, which is, well, I'm an old retailer. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Michael's. I would have bought three friends from me that day if they'd have been on sale, but that's okay. Um, we have I did buy one little bitty one. Okay. So, Kathy, these are not new things that I finished, but I'm going to show you some yeah, partial finishes. Yeah, show them anyway. They're partial finishes. Yeah. A year ago, Kathy and I went to Target one day, and we were looking at the Target dollar spot. Is that one of those boxes? And they have they had a set of boxes. I'm going to nice. tell you they were $5. And there was like four, four boxes, boxes that, mm -hmm. you know, melded together. Yeah. And uh, all, but they were actually separate boxes, so I like that. Yeah. And they were this deep, just a nice light, light, light birch wood or whatever. Right. So I took one of those boxes and I painted it blue and antiqued it brown. You notice that's coming out because I hadn't finished. Uh, so this was from that Susan Aki book from Fat Quarter Shop, and in it, it was some quilt patterns mm -hmm. and cross stitch patterns. I love all the color they came up with. That yeah. is so I like the, blue. I, yeah, it's my. Your, anyway, blue. but my thought is this is not finished in here because I, in my mind, I don't know if this is going to work, Kathy. I want to go buy a knob. Oh, I think the knob idea is perfect. And put it on the top or something and put little feet on the bottom of this. Even if the feet are little pieces of wood. Yeah. You, know, you can get What are they meant to cover holes and things yeah. or something? You know, yeah. just something to hold little it knob. up and to mm -hmm. put a little knob on top or something. And then I might get tired of it. I told you they have knobs for 39 cents at Hobby Lobby. I got to go. Gotta go to the so, hall, but I'm thinking that would give me a way to tie yeah. a little ribbon around it. But or it would something. just, yeah, yeah, it, just a little, just something, little add little to something. it without adding. You don't want to always add the foo foo so, frame. And then I use my husband uh, has telescopes. Now this is a long story to get to know <laughs> where I'm going. My husband Molly. does telescopes, and a lot of times he'll order things for these precious lenses that are hundreds of dollars, and, all, and they come in this oh, uh, foam that. It's a big sheet of foam, but it breaks apart into little yeah. pieces, and also that's what's in here. Look what you did! You know, nice. You know. So once I get my, I gotta be able to get back you in and it. put my thing in. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll attach this, and I'll. Because the knobs are, they have the long screw. And yeah, I gotta hold. be able to screw down. There. I, I mean, you can probably but saw them off, but I don't think I'm gonna put any trim around here. I think no. I'm just gonna mush this in there yeah. and call it a day. 
Okay. Awesome. Then another one that's near finished, which does not qualify for fully finished February. But, but it's only the 20th. That's why I asked you, what's the date? 20th. See? So I put, that's I had this other second little piece of cheap wood I bought from Hobby Lobby for 70% off, $2.49. <laughs> gave me 75 cents or something. <clears throat> anyway, this was that uh, blue flower. I think it was blue flower. I think it was. Um, from the magazine. From the magazine, yeah. and she's she's actually releasing at this market another heart that's so cute. It's cute. Oh, it's, I'm not gonna do is it a one, seasonal thing? It's there? a seasonal oh, thing. I see. But this one is in honor of somebody. Oh. We'll talk about market releases in a minute. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so I'm showing Kathy. I said, "Is that too plain? I need to do something." I like, like it. Just so like Kathy that. goes, "You need a picket fence. Yeah. You need a picket fence." I got to have and a picket I, fence. You know what? I'm so frustrated is. So I have feather trees, numerous feather trees that all have a fence. I have bought the picketing fence that you were talking about, and I know there's a pack in that box, but I have so many Christmas boxes, I couldn't oh. even begin. So next year when I... <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, and I told her, and when, okay, hopefully nobody uh, in the world but me doesn't pack. know what a feather tree is. Uh, I came from uh, the east side you know? of Texas, and you know, lived in the west side of Louisiana for years. Uh, I did not know what a feather tree oh, was. So Kat, I go goose to Kathy's feather. head. It's so pretty. It's yeah, a Christmas yeah. tree made out of goose feathers. It's yeah. so pretty and it's delicate. Very pretty. But that's what a feather tree is. Um, yeah. Kind of thing. So anyway, but I know I saw it. I'm going to take just, it to Michael. It's just, because you don't need a big enough big piece. You only need... I think it was in the miniature section I saw. Yeah. You know you buy little trees. Well, and they might things. Easter's coming. So they might have them yeah. out again for whatever reason. So have any of y'all been to Hobby Lobby? Like, have you been to Hobby Lobby? I did. And Boy, they're changing it. Barfs. Well, our Hobby Lobby on the west side of El Paso yeah. here is um, <clears throat> the whole middle section that used to be home decor is was to the floor empty. empty. And then they're starting to set Easter. And yeah. you can see some more home goods stuff. I'm anxious to see what it's going to be. Yeah. You know, or, or are they turning into Bed Bath and Beyond Hobby Lobby? Because they've got towels I and don't know. place settings and, and dishes and all. So anyway, but the yeah. moral to the story is I need picket fence and a little bit of strawberry. I wish I knew what box was I, or something. I directed my husband to haul out a box. It's a it's a project. But anyway. I just don't have a clue. <laughs> don't have a clue. But I'll find out. In my yeah. life. I have dyes of little uh, picket fences, but I want an actual little wood yeah, with wire around the wire. picket fence. But I think that's going to be cute. I could have yeah. framed it, but to me, this I is like too it light. Just like it's that. too lighthearted of a piece. Yeah. To, I, don't know, I frame, think it's going to be you know? sweet, just like that. So for... that's one thing. Okay. Last yeah. year, we're coming up to St. Patty's Day. Last year, I made a corned beef and cabbage <laughs> and beer. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Is a loon. Crazy is a loon. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had stitched this little thing and made a pill out of it. Well, I couldn't stand it. It was the plainest thing. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? So Kathy's over here the other day. I'm messing around. So I opened my ribbon drawer and I took out this light, yep. darker piece of green ribbon, just wrapped it around, tied a bow, and then Sweet like, Michelle. If y'all yeah. don't know, is it Lone Star Stitchers? I think so. Lone Star Stitchers on Floss Tube. You need to check them out. Yep. Michelle, the, both of them are sweet, but I know Michelle better. Michelle is the sweetest woman. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet woman. Uh, but anyway, she's got a floss tube, and it's Lone Star Stitcher. And she had given us, which I put near here, Kathy. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, I went to a uh, retreat last year with Nancy Waller, mm -hmm. and uh, who is the counted stitch, counted stitch, counted thread. Count of thread. Count of thread. Yeah. Okay, anyway. But Michelle gave us these little egg cups with a pom-pom ball stuck in it and pins. And those pins are, were perfect for that. Perfect. perfect. And now perfect. she loves her And pedal. I love my egg cups. Yeah. Isn't that a cute idea? Now, they had those. That was from Hobby Lobby last year. Yes. Now, and she just bought a giant like pom-pom and she stuck Cut it in there. Yeah. She had a pretty little piece of ribbon around it. Yep. That was like the sweetest table gift. Yeah. I loved it. And Michelle's just a doll. She's a anyway, sweet doll. Uh, but, look but at that. so how, I put a little, uh, you know, forty clover charm. The little Did you find the hands? No, I told okay. her somewhere I have. What are the Irish? It's like a praying hand. It starts with the C. C L A D G H. Or Clock or, 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 or anyway, I have a charm somewhere. That'd be. Perfect. I'm talking about charms now. You know, Kathy and I didn't start out ch chatting too much or talking about ourselves. 
Like we usually do. But she comes over. We've been making. Should I tell them now? Yeah, well, yeah. She gets me into trouble. My husband wants to know where the grocery money is. <laughs> <laughs> like she didn't get me into trouble with cross stitching. I bought a big shot. Can you believe I bought? Which a is a die cutting machine. Die cutting machine. Which what do you have to have with the big shot, Kathy? Everything. Dies. <laughs> Everything. First of all, I said to my husband, this "I have died. A, this she could have bought any dye in the world." Good one. I said, "I think I'm going to buy a paper cutting machine." I studied them. I kind of looked because, you know, there's the mini and the regular and the black Electronic one and the collectible red me. one. And yeah. then there's the, and I, I settled on one and I said, well, this one's not too bad price wise. And he goes, yeah, but he knows me so well. How much do you need to go with it? <laughs> well, I'm still getting things a lot. that need to go with it. But anyway, so I am so excited. I had a little, you know, a little uh, 40 clover charm. And all this. <sighs> Kathy has been making paper tags because I like making paper tags. It's an easy, quick, uh, satisfying it's thing. It's very, yeah, seasonal. instant gratification. And you get to use treasures that, that you might have collected up over the years. Well, that or you had to buy 20, yeah. you know, to mm -hmm. get a, from Etsy or whatever. Yeah. So, anyway, she's, wait till you, this is we'll show <laughs> Wait till you see her stuff. Oh, my God. I can't believe I oh have a nibble of scrap now. Part of linen and but scrap. Go, I, I feel love... so fully more 100% combined as a team. <laughs> She's so I should have been an HR. <laughs> she is so full of baloney. Um, anyway, so. Anyway. <laughs> moving on. Nuts. I don't want to taste nuts. Anyway, so just adding a little ribbon, tying a little bow, adding the charm, and those beautiful pins. Perfect. Make, I love it better. Like I do that. too. Okay. I do too, Molly. So I really, this really was like something it. I had finished a couple of years ago. Who here doesn't know Vonna Pfeiffer? Yeah, she's, she's like great. The best she's of the best. The best, of the best. tutorialist. She's the best in teacher the industry. on finishing. Yeah, she's very she, good. you know she can teach a bunch. You know of she stuff. just finished that beautiful Christmas Santa holding the mm -hmm. teddy bear. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's mm -hmm. just gorgeous. And she would she um, showed pictures as she was progressing until she finished it it was it was very cool and she had done a video cool. one time i don't want to misquote her but talking about how she'd kind of hit a wall oh yeah you she know, hit a wall. We all hit all walls. yeah yeah and uh i'm glad she yeah. broke through that wall because boy that's yeah. some pretty stuff but Talked anyway a lot of people she did some tutorials on flat folds you mm -hmm. know where you use two pieces or three pieces of cardboard and you make a little where your thing stands up mm -hmm. well i had done this piece last couple of years ago which when i love first met? one of my first pieces and I had used red cording around the edge, put something in the corner, stick it. But every time I looked at it, I'm like, boy, oh, that just ain't right. That is just, mm -mm. So I just ripped that trim off. <laughs> you know, I glue. Don't tell Kathy. No, I, I, Don't tell I, I sew my, yeah. I sew my. I glue. But anyway. Um, so I ripped that off and I put this glue that I bought out of the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. Well, it's the fabric glue. Oh, you're talking about the trim. The trim. Mm -hmm. I love it better with mm -hmm. the blue. It looks so much more federal. You know, it does. Federalist blue, you know, kind of thing. It does. So, uh, it sets it off. I'm saying that's a new finish. <laughs> I'm cheating. counting it as a new finish for me. <laughs> she didn't tell me she was going to cheat. I'm cheating. I am cheating. <laughs> now, uh, okay, Kathy, I'm up to... Uh, that's all my finishes so far, but I've got more coming. Now, do you have do you have a whip that you want to whip, whip out? I have a finish, and I have a whip. Okay. And I have market ideas. Okay. That I want to. Well, do. then I'll go. So I, I am totally boycotting fully finish in February because it ain't going to happen in my house. But Easter is here. Yeah. yeah, I know. Thanks for the support. And I wanted to show you, the, if you remember, I did this last year. This was from the little card. Seems you might do it March. Isn't that <laughs> cute? I know. Isn't that cute? And then I had finished this bunny. I need to get these done. So why aren't you doing that? I will. Everywhere? I will. I will get it done. Because I was scrapping. You got me doing that chunk. Wait till you see. Wait <laughs> and then see. Brenda Gervais' Easter one, a lot of people are working on that. So I've got three of them here. If you want to know the pattern, you can look at the floss tube from go back 12 <laughs> just kidding um but yeah i think he's really cute too a little bumblebee up there and i then, have to finish those yeah girls. so i'll get him finished okay. anyway but i do have a whip now y'all know i'm i guess i lied because i was going to go right into the next flight into egypt right into it well since she got me going on scrapping and spending all my grocery money on 
My husband doesn't even know what a die is. He does know, though. Mm -hmm. I think there's a die in the box. <laughs> Anyway, go, ahead, go to the mailbox, yeah. Um, so I'm cleaning as I'm going because I make it a mess and I try to clean up as I go, as I finish. Molly's kind of like that too. We have a day, you know, the stuff's floating around in the air and clean it up, clean it up. Kathy's been coming to my house every couple of days yeah. working on her stuff. Working, working, on, working on my on stuff. Her. I'll show you. You should have seen my room. It looked like a, a hurricane. Bomb. Yeah. Wow. I tried to say, girl, I can't even walk in there right now because yeah. I had to stop and clean. But, uh, um, so bad. I found this project bag and I, I completely totally forgot about it. Um, it's an old one folks, so hang on to your pants. This is called the Cranberry Bog Sampler. <laughs> Back from, I don't even know, 1989. I'm sure the pattern is antique. I'm sure it's a worth a small fortune. I, I, had, I, didn't, I hadn't started it, but it reminds me so much of Wisconsin. There's cranberry bogs like crazy up north of Wisconsin. And to, to see it stitch, it's like oh, a piece of home. So I found a piece of 46 count linen. And look, I'm on the bog. It's Can so I move fun. A little more yeah. the middle? And do you like my needle binder? Oh. Look at that little bird. It's very pretty. Yeah. But 46 counts so can be down. fun. And I have a frame. I went down under, uh -oh. <laughs> which means under the bed, and I have a frame for it so that I don't even have to have cut down because it's completely square. It's like nine by nine. So 40 cents count linen, bought it at the attic. I wish I could tell you the color. <clears throat> I have no idea what color that is. What count is this? 46. It's tiny. I would have told you this was 82. And going from Glasses. the 30 count from Flight into Egypt to this, was like, oh, get out the sixes. Do we have magnification larger than a six? This, no. I'm sitting here looking for my glasses. Three glasses. <laughs> well, yeah, well, usually I have three pair on. <laughs> this is the finest look at it's that. It's tiny. It's tiny. Kathy, that's so good. I'm so glad you went into some. I love the flight out. I yeah. The, you know, nothing so on. I don't know if you can see, but it, it might focus on that. It's teeny tiny. Okay. But, when she first said the cranberry bog sampler, I had no idea what you were saying. Oh, the cranberry bogs. Sampler. Okay. I didn't even know that they cranberry, they fish them out of the water. I, I knew that. Yeah. I knew, yeah. And who is this by? I Ellen, mean, Ellen Bennett. She's been, I mean Bennett. yeah. Okay. She has been a, um, she has a design portfolio that is like, she was like number one in the industry. Back in the day. Back in the day. Now I'm going to make some changes. I converted it to over, Imagine that. 1989. Yeah, 19. I did. I converted it to overdive, so which is which is to totally going against my. If there's not enough real estate for an overdive, don't do it. But if you only have to do 12 stitches throughout your 15 by 15 size sampler, I wouldn't do it. But in this case, it's all stitched and overdive, so I was I was. Okay and I need that. to know the name of this blue. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I it's have it. Let me get that for you, Molly. Okay. Isn't that, aren't they pretty? They're very pretty. That blue, Molly, is called Deep Fennel. Deep Fennel? Yeah. Well, I changed my mind about what I thought fennel was. Okay. Isn't that going to be pretty? Now, who is that? Uh, General Lawrence? Yeah. Okay. General Lawrence. I think they're all. Oh, oh I like Crescent Colors. Crescent Colors? Yeah, which is classic color works now. So, I'm wondering if I can find Deep Fennel. I don't know. I bet you could. Look how organized Molly. Because last time she chewed me out, she's like, "Oh, nice to nice presentation." She picked up a wad of thread. Here's my thread. <laughs> nice presentation. Oh, okay. Molly, Molly, what will we do with us? This is so pretty, isn't it? And it reminded me, Misty and Kathy with uh, two needles pulling thread uh -huh. did a uh, like loons and blueberries. And oh that yeah, thing. that was such the thread and they used was so pretty. Look I like at the deer. Loons. And the, the forest, the evergreens. I love the blackbirds on the bottom. This is such a pretty flower, too. That middle flower. So I'm cruising on that one. Like I said, I got a frame. I don't know how far I get now that scrapping has interfered my stitching business. Okay, speaking of has a frame, can you show us? Yes. So, <clears throat> y'all know that I love... The wishing forms patterns her patterns are phenomenal so I have been I finally 
pulled the plug <laughs> and forget I did from the wishing farm the German holiday sampler. Okay. Ooh, sorry. No, okay. So I went into my stash. This was hard because I really had to either, it's kind of like is the chicken first or did the egg come first? So do you pick your linen first and go with that and say I'm going to find the thread when it's a solid one color throughout? Or do you pick your thread first and go, now I'm going to hunt down the linen? Well, in this case, I love Vicki Clayton silks. I actually found, um, Vicki worked with me a little bit. We sent some pictures back and forth. But I found, here's my threads. And they're a beautiful, taupey, white, very wintry, winter cable looking sweater. But the fabric I found is by Fox and Rabbit. And this is called Duxbury. And look how, let me go to the back here because I think you can see the thread. Look how pretty that's gonna look on an all white sampler. I just can't wait. Then, while I was digging under my bed, I found this frame. Now, take this fabric and the frame and the thread, and I think it's gonna be such a pretty wintry Design. I'm not saying you know, but it's so pretty. So what kind, what is this thread? Silk, six, six strand silk from Vicki Clayton. Again, this is- This is so pretty, Kathy. Isn't it? Now that is, I'll give you the call, I'll give you the color game, there's a name. So this is Duxbury 36 count by Fox and Rabbit. Sorry guys, the frame was under my bed. My frame was $6.24 from $24.99. But I love that white, taupey. The kicker is, Okay, this is um, exhaled. X hyphen hailed is the color of it. And I just. It's gonna. I hmm. think it's gonna be, let me get off the label there. I think it's gonna be really pretty. I can't wait to get it started. Now, Kathy, if you don't mind, I'm gonna hold this up so y'all can actually see because the pattern was so blonde on blonde. Yeah. This is what is yes, the pattern. with the pattern. She's got a couple of choices. Mm -hmm. So you can see that in that white exhaled yeah. on that toasty cup. Oh my God, that's gonna be stunning. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. The only thing is, there's always a but. I gotta turn the pattern down to fit the frame. So I have to I have to get rid of either something inside to keep the border or get rid of the border or do something smaller, but I'll figure it out because I, I like the frame enough that I'll I'll How much are you having to eliminate? 44 stitches one way and 55 the other. You have to get rid of that many? Yeah. No. Yeah. I have to get rid of that many. Okay. That's a lot. Yeah. Well, tw it's 25 from each side. So this is eight. This is 36 count. So it's 18. So it's almost two inches. Almost three inches from the one way. So it's an inch and a half on each side. She will figure it out if anybody will. I'll figure Here's it out. Here's my thought. When I, was, I love it. And I love this frame, but when I was at the Hobby Lobby, they have a bunch of molding this color. <laughs> so, you should. Maybe I should double check to see. I would, I would double check because this that, is so isn't that gorgeous be like it is. just gorgeous on that? On that and linen? my thing is, I can see leaving this out. I can see leaving a yeah. row out. I'm having trouble leaving the width out. How are you going to do that? Uh, I, I do have a program at home. I have a that plan. I pull out, I have a plan. Out with, but okay. I did want to share that with you because I think it's a pattern that's going to be beautiful for Christmas for next year. Um, but you know, people want to get started on their stuff. I know some people think Christmas is done and you pack it up, put it away. Well, then we're stitching like you know crazy people in December one, trying to get something done. And I understand this is Christmas, but it's really, it's like to me this would be October through March. Yeah. With our weather. And all. Yeah. Like one day we were in the 40s and the next day we're 75. Yeah. And then Today we're in it's the 40s really, really warm. And, the 50s and then we're in the 70s. So, so this is a German Christmas sampler or German holiday sampler. Rose Fest. By the Wishing Horn and Bridget. I love all of her patterns. Oh my gosh. Pretty, pretty, pretty. pretty. So that's that. Okay. Molly. Before we get to her tags. Yeah. Do you want to do them um, between cross stitching stuff, or do you want me to do my cross stitching? No, stuff? No, do your cross stitching stuff. Because you have some patterns to do too. I, you know what I did? Okay, so Molly's got me cleaning my bedroom 
job now because I've made a mess scrapbooking in the kitchen, in the family room, in the dining room, in under the table, and in the bedroom. Uh -huh. So? <laughs> I pull out one die and I'm like, whoo, these things suckers go all over the place. <laughs> There's little dots everywhere. and I do like the big shot, the Tim Holtz Sizix big shot. Sizix. Sizix okay. mm -hmm. big shot machine is the one I bought uh -huh. off Amazon. Okay. Free good, there's some good machines out there. Yeah. Okay. That's the one I bought. So anyway. I want to back up. I have, can I show my, um, yeah, your, your, what do you call it? Your wish list for, no, my, oh. uh, what the heck? Your almost? I, my finish. Sorry. I couldn't think of yeah. the word. My yeah. Finish. I'm going to throw that aside. I'm going to throw that aside. Hold on. Okay. So this is, I was supposed to do three and a half, um, things a month. To get oh, to my you got it figured out party. that way, huh? Well, I did three and a half in January. Now, we are on February 20th. February only has 29 days this year. Luckily, we have one extra day. So, I only have nine more days. And you will see, I'm probably not going to hit my goal this month. But Did I'm you hit it last I'm month? A, oh, yeah. Oh, good. So, this was a free pattern. I'm going to tell you it was free. But anyway, from Erica Michaels, it's Have a Heart. And it looked uh, St. Patty's Day to me, but just a beautiful everyday sentiment. Here come it really is. It's a have nice a heart, thing. and it's a uh, have a heart that never hardens, a temper that never tires, and a touch that never hurts. I think that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. So this was where, and uh, one of our viewers was sweet and told me what kind of fabric she thinks this is. Thank you so much oh, for yeah, that. I, I, I saw that. My hair's coming down. Anyway, I saw um, that. I love it. It's look, it looks mm -hmm. so. Old to me. It looks like Fiddler's. It's not Fiddler's Cloth. No, I know, she told me the she, name, but I, yeah. she said the man who did it passed away. But anyway, mm -hmm. I love it. Very so nice. this is another one. Now that I have it finished, I want to take and have it. Um, You're gonna have that one framed. Framed. Yeah. Uh huh. But the fabric is loosey goosey weave. You know, it's loose. Yeah. But uh, I just it looks so old to me. And Molly, you stitched that with one thread, right? Yeah. Which really on this count of fabric, I don't know if y'all can see how. What loose count it is. was that? Do I don't remember? know. I didn't count it. Yeah. It's a, more like an even. But see how little, mm -hmm. but I did one over two. But anyway, okay, so that was my finish. So that's a half of a finish for February. It looks like 30 counts. So I should have, to be keeping up with my plan, I should have done three other patterns. So I finished that half, and I should have been doing three other patterns. Well, instead of doing three other patterns, I've only got half of another one done. So this is Summer Bees that's, yeah, by Blue Flower. You're making some uh, progress on that. Yes, but uh, my problem is I do so many things and just, I don't, I don't have a good excuse. It's, there's no good excuse. Anyway, so let me find my picture. This is Summer mm -hmm. Bees by, designed by Northern Camber. Of, oh, I said Twin, Twin Flower. Peaks. Twin Peak Primitives. It's this one. I lied. Oh. So it's going to be Darling. I love it. And this is as far as I've gotten. And I have not spent a lot of time on it, but the old, once Kathy leaves here, I, I've got the next four days off. I'm saying off. I'm retired, but <laughs> not committed to anything. Uh, I'm going to be stitching like a fool. So I want to stitch this whip, and I'm hoping I can get it done by the end of the month. And then the next thing, I don't have any whips that are close to done. I'm going to go through my whips and see if I don't have some that are close to done. I don't get to Christmas done. or yeah. fall or anything. And see if I can't get some finishings done. And I'll, But the next thing I want to start, Kathy, and I'm just showing you this because I'm it's a commitment to myself. Isn't that the one that was missing the blue that we found? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's this right. is a uh, Brenda Gervais. Brenda Gervais. And those of you who know Jessica from Sweetwater Stitchers, yeah. she's doing a salute Season. to Brenda Gervais <coughs> this month. It yep. truly and is the kitty cats. I do not have a cold. She says something Sorry. Like kitty cat. Let me take about it. Anyway, uh, she could take a Benadryl or something before she comes over, but no. I don't have any Benadryl. I have other drugs. I, I need to have a Benadryl <laughs> sitting here when she gets here. Okay, anyway, more to the story. <laughs> um, it's Brenda Treves, and it's, what's the name of it? Uh, Faith of the Heart. And I love it, and I don't know what y'all are I saying. Like I hope, you're, I hope you can see it. But it talks about God finds a low branch for those who cannot fly. I just think that's so pretty. Yeah. I it love it. Pretty. So I've got it, you know, it's all kitted up and it's in my bag from one of our viewers. Thank you so much. Uh, and so I can't wait to start it, you know. Now, I'm still stitching on Ada and content with it and all. But now, are you to... going to stitch that on 14 count? That's what I have pulled. Yeah, I, I, 
I know. See, she's got she's gone to smaller counts. Uh, but because I have a stash of 14 count, yeah, I have to use it. Now I'm saying this is 14. It's 14. It's 14. It's 14. It's 14. Okay. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to try to use those things up and you know live with them and love them and all. I was talking to you earlier about a. I have the JBW design oh, yeah. Bluebird of Happiness, and I was doing yeah, it on a 14 so count, two over, you know, two, huh? you know, two threads over, one on 14 count. But I, I can't. Every time I go to pick it up to do it, I can't do it. So I'm thinking I'm going to just start that over different. with a something higher count right. and one thread. Yeah. It's so delicate looking of a pattern. Yeah. It just deserves better, I think. Okay, so that is my next start. I have two or three things over here. But Kathy, you got some hauls you want to show, or some patterns you want to show us? Yes. So. While I was cleaning, <laughs> it's like a week project. So I thought before I put these away, so I don't know that I've showed all these. I have quite a few of them. And I thought I would share the beauty of our patterns with all of you. It's, they're coming, I promise. And one of the things with Kathy, she has patterns from 19... 89, well, I used to work at Calico Canvas and Colors, which was in Racine, Wisconsin, back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, and when you work at Anita Workshop, you know, you kind of get... It's funny that you even look for another pattern when you know you have a million of them back there. Oh my gosh, are you there now? Good. Did you see something? No, I'm just saying, wait till you see what else okay. is got. Um, is, but I think there's something fell here. Oh, it you see that? Okay, I'll okay. get that when you okay. start that. All right. Ooh. I showed this last time. This is Brenda Gervais' Cupid Sampler. Wow. Which, you know, Valentine's Day is passed, so this will have to be for next year. Another Brenda Gervais, Key to My Heart. Brenda Gervais, With Thy Needle and Thread. And I'm thinking to go what I picked yeah. up might go with something. Yeah. Um, Heartstring Sampler Rock and Roll Sampler. I just like the big rolls at the top. Okay. And then Autumn U Plum Street Samplers. So these were in your stash already? Yeah, I have or? yeah, they're in my stash. I didn't just buy them or and this goes with hands on design. I have to find mine. I know. Hands on design, and then we were sent the board. Uh, a classic Christmas. Isn't that sweet? And then Scarlet Sky, which is on Etsy, sent us the board for it to go on. Can I do a little, uh, not to advertise for anybody, but yeah. Sc uh, that Scarlet Sky Designs She's Texas yeah. is on Etsy. Yeah. And she sent us boxes because she does uh, mystery boxes, I right. guess you call them. They are chock-a-block full with things. Oh, and as you cool. can see, you get a pattern, you get the floss, you get the finishing piece, and then there's tons of other stuff in those boxes. Of course, she's doing an Easter one now, or spring yeah. one and all, but... Uh, These are not in any... Because we just I just dropped them all. <laughs> not in any way, shape, or form in order. I bought this one. It was at Country Sampler. He is absolutely adorable. This is Blue Bell Snickle, and this is actually by um, Not Forgotten Farm, and there's a conversion in there by Jean. Jeannie Horton, who's the owner of uh, the Country Sampler. But he was adorable out there. I have seen this pattern for years. Probably would have. But when I saw Jeannie's conversion stitched, adorable. And I know Molly probably has a key for me. <laughs> Jolly Snowman. This is uh, It's So Emma. Was sent to us by Fat Porter Shop. I think he's cute. I think he's very cute. This is one I've been wanting to get to. I've seen it, somebody working on it. Couldn't tell you the name. She stitched it on a different fabric. I have collected Noah's arcs for since my kids were little. Now I have big arcs. She does. <laughs> big. They're, they're big. Um, mm -hmm. This is Plum Street Stamplers called The Flood. I love that one. And you can see those animals and the raindrops. Kathy, that's pretty. Yeah, it is. It's just, it's just pretty. The arc. Look at the arc. How detailed that arc is. And then um, the quilted witch, which I think she's adorable. 
And this is also by uh, Lori Holt, Be My Bonnet. Um, you can get this at the um, Fat Porter shop. The Scarlet House, Sarah Barnes. One of Tanya's. Very cool. We'll pass on the chickens here. Uh, <clears throat> cottage Designs. Frog Cottage Designs. I thought I would, I, I like the trees and I like the way the deer was. Christmas Breadwork Sampler Frostage Pattern. I think this is kind of a neat one. All in one color and I think it would be really adorable done small, like 46, 50 count. I really like that one. And then Plum Street, I had bought this from the Country Sampler. This is uh, Plum Street Sampler, This Happy Morning. And I did get my kit and it's available now, but I do get it to do on the dark. Should be kind of fun. Pull that back. I wanted to share this one with you, the Resting Eagle. I bought this one on Etsy. And I gotta be honest with you, I have not recently looked, but I just thought this one, this is called The Witch on the Moon. If you're into Halloween, how cool is that one? And again, by the Resting Eagle, I got it on, uh, off Etsy. Halloween Seed Sack, Carriage House Designs. My sister did this up in Wisconsin, it's adorable. And then while we were up in Green Bay area, the Drawn Thread, uh, Welcome Halloween. How cute is that? <clears throat> this one I bought uh, wish I could tell you exactly where Blue House Pin Keep Drum I know Katie she uh, is one of the teachers out at for Sampler Simple uh, Schoolhouse School Summer School Hello <laughs> Blue House Pin Keep Drum and I know she's got a conversion out there for that and, the, and I think she even had the threads there for a while. And this is uh, Stacy Nash. Okay, you're, you're, Am I over? There you go. Okay, too far. And this one, I looked at this too, and I'm like, why have, did I not stitch this one yet? This is the Blue Flower, Blue Flower uh, Winter Quail. How cool is that? It would be, there you go. Mm -hmm. Just sweet. And then mm -hmm. um, Share Joy, Hands to Work. There. I swear these uh, um, Murder of Crows, la di da. Really into fall here. That's I'm seeing. Really into fall. Ann Roberts, I love the house on this one. This is uh, Hands to Work, Sampler Reproduction, Ann Roberts. Love the house. And then at home, Bernard Gervais with thy needle and thread. Look at that robin's little nest up there. And I should say robin, but bird's nest. At home. Love that one too. This one I I, uh, I, I bought it online. Rachel Osborne, 1850. Um, I just thought it was so pretty. Samplers and stitches. Love the border. Of uh, potted flowers. I just think that's adorable. Samplers and stitches. And that's the quilting pattern. So that is it for other than the chickens. I'm not going to worry about the chickens from the chicken club. Y'all know I collect the chickens from the fat quarter shop. <laughs> Myrtle. I don't even know which all of them I have because they fell on the floor, so Myrtle fell, but she's cute. I, oh, here's Henrietta from the Fat Quarter Shop. So Then um, this book that I love, I thought 100 Blocks, do you remember this one? No. Love this one, 100 Block by Yanita Mantel. And it's all these um, 
designs. Kind of reminded me a little bit about the Talavera here. Isn't that cool? You'd have to, you guys will have to research that one. But I'll give, there's the name. Love it. So I'm making pattern. a face because there's several new patterns. Oh, that have? The Nashville market that have those kind of blocks on them. Oh. And I have more, but <laughs> we're more. good. Yeah, those yeah. are the ones that I have to file. If I can get them home in one piece. I held this one aside, Kathy. Yeah, you know, why? Those are some beautiful <laughs> patterns. Thank you for sharing those. Yeah. But can y'all see some of the motif, motifs however you pronounce it, on there? Wouldn't those be fun to stitch just by themselves? I love that basket on this one. Oh, my gosh. They're so pretty. Those, that would just be pretty to dissect them. Oh, my God. So I did a really stupid thing. You know, I put all my patterns in binders, and sometimes... I have in the past grabbed a page from the top pattern or the bottom pattern as I'm filing them, putting them in. Well, I remember I, I this summer I painted that another box, three drawers, mm -hmm. and I so thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool just to stitch that center piece on it with the bees, not the beehive, not the saying, not the border, just this. Well, do you think I can find? Stupid. So but it, stupid. No, but I know what you're talking about. It's like one page. One yeah. Page. It's like, what did I do with it? Mm -hmm. So, I don't even know. I, I'm going to have to look and see if it's even available. Sandy Orton, Kohler Design. I got to jump online, figure it out. I'll okay. figure it out. Is this mine? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Before. Kathy goes into her paper crafting, yeah. which I'm so proud of. I'm jealous and proud of the same moment. I just want to show you a few things. This falls under the heading of freebies. Yay. Oh, yeah. And it is remarkable. Uh, Y'all all may I have just, known about it. I just downloaded it. Okay. Wow. Uh, I was watching some false tubes. They always get you in trouble. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. But so tattered. A beautiful young girl. She had a video with her mom on it. Her mom is just, she went to a retreat, bought her first cross stitch there at the retreat, and started cross stitching. And she really has, I love the pattern choices she's making on. But this was a pattern her daughter told her mom about because it was a free download. I cannot believe this is a free pattern. But it's from the Solitary Stitcher, Mary Jane Fry, 1861. I hope y'all all knew about it, but if you didn't, I want to share it. This is a free pattern. I love it. I love it. Now, that was the cover page, Mary Jane Fry, 1861, Solitary Stitcher. You can go on her Facebook page and download it. Now, the post is older, and I think the post is two years old. Oh, you still, told me to look at the date. I yeah. forgot. But look at this. I, that the, is the ravens, and I don't think that would be a long, big It has stitch. cats. Like Kathy cat. can't do it. She's allergic I'm to cats. I'm allergic to cats. Okay, but uh, isn't that a pretty... It's very pretty. I love it. You I, I just absolutely love it. You know, it's it. amazing what floss tube and another... Just walking into a stitching shop, if you're kind of in a funk and don't know what to do and you, you've gotten that way from cross it's just walk into a shop or watch a few floss tubes or go visit molly it's like the fire just ignites yes which is fun to see yeah now the same the same beautiful young girl from so tattered showed another pattern it was mary ann farmer by the scarlet house i don't have a picture of it but it I've was a beautiful pattern I've it was beautiful so yeah i'm so glad to get to i felt like i got to meet him or something yeah her, the girl is beautiful. She's a, you know, young girl, just beautiful. But her mom has such a sparkle. She started giggling oh, partway cute. through her daughter and had a sparkle in her eye. It was just fun to watch. She was loving on her daughter. Yeah, huh? it was cute. fun. And uh, just doing a beautiful job. Cute. And let me tell you, that mother was showing some work she's done. It was stunning. Some work she's working on, stunning. And then the daughter showed one pattern. The mom goes, oh, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. And I'm thinking, girl, uh -huh. yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, one of my other favorite floss tubes to watch is the Sable Stitchers. It's Roberta mm -hmm. and Lenny. If you ever watch them, they just crack me up. Sable stands for Stash Accumulated Beyond Life Expectancy, which, did you see those groups of patterns Kathy just showed, all those? That's like one That's one hundredth. Stuff or less of her. File, yeah. yeah. So filed. I think we are sable stitchers too. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so Roberta and Lenny just uploaded a video and it's just darling. But um, 
I listed a couple of things that Oh uh, Joyous Day, that's a sampler. Roberta showed that were pretty mm -hmm. and one of them was Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Design. I got to look that up. But another one she showed was the berry bowl from the Scarlet House. And it looks like it's this big. Oh you know the way she held it up or something. I'm thinking I'm just going to cut out a few of those berry bowls and do it. Don't tell me you have that pattern. No, um, no, but I think I know which one you're talking it about. It was so pretty. And to me, it would be a thread user. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I bought some overdyed threads yeah. or something. A color red and decided, yeah. You could just throw those colors yeah. in and all. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the other thing she mentioned, you probably, Kathy probably has this, is a book by Brenda Keyes, K-E-Y-E-S, Keyes, and it's called The Ultimate Motif Book. Oh, yeah. There, she's got two of them. I need that book. One's sampler motifs, and there were two of them. I need that One book. came out about, I don't know, two years ago, and then one's been out before that, well before that. Well, I'm going to have to get them, but I've got to find and do something. They're handy, especially if you're into looking for little motifs for one reason or the other, if you want to design your own sampler. Well, I'm going to show you, Kathy, if you don't, I'm going to yeah. go into this real quick. Um, so I've been watching all, Lindy um, Stitches has She's been hysterical. Show, she was hysterical. Lindy Stitches has been doing uh, some videos of the uh, Nashville the, market releases, the releases that she's going to have in her shop, and uh, her own and some other designers and all, and of course I'm hooked. And then mm -hmm. Fat Quarter Shop has a page that on their blog where you just lists all the you know ones that they're going to be picking out. I'm saying all of them. It's showing some of them, you know. What what but she huge account, what huge she list. besides the fact that she does a, an awesome job highlighting these and what's in each sampler, how she presents it to you is you just Lindy? yeah. She's a hoot. She was the jingle ball jingle Girl. ball she's, host. Yeah, hostess. And she's just a hoot. But I love that she's sharing those things with us. She okay. had some really sad news to tell. Remember? How she oh, was... I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to do a spoiler for it. Watch her video. Yeah, you gotta. It was like. It was like Molly had me hooked too. It was like yeah. you gotta watch it. It's yeah. so sad. It was sad. It was. It was sad. She triggered somebody and she wanted to apologize for it. Yeah. And I was cracking up laughing because when you hear it, it's funny, it's funny as heck. Yeah. But I cleaned that up. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, this is one of the patterns. It's uh, needle be true samper and. Samper and Smalls by Jeanette Douglas. Mm -hmm. Sorry the picture is blurry. It's just, you know, I downloaded a picture and printed it from the internet. But if you can read in the middle, it says the needle knows its way. Isn't that a beautiful sampler? So I've got yeah. to. I'm getting into samplers. I don't know how it happened, but so I'm getting into this them. one is one I wanted. I want this one. Okay. I got this I one gotta... on Lindy Stamp Gang. Lindy Stamp Gang. I'm sorry. I'm just, that's a different... It's a stamping cut. Picture anyway, time um, tea. on Lindy Stitches. I gotta get that one. Okay. I gotta get you're gonna want this one. She was showing it and I'm thinking she said it was a new designer, but it's by Blueberry Ridge. Mm -hmm. And look how darling that that is Halloween adorable. is. You know what? It reminds me a lot of um the the, the two true. that I've stitched the one that I stitched last Halloween. Yes, but bite-sized pieces. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes. Yes, like bite-sized pieces yeah. and things. Anyway, I just, I mm -hmm. love the colors. I love the yeah. size and scale of it. Do I we love... know what size it's going to be? Yes, no. She tells you on the thing. Okay. You know, like when, if you Let watch her videos, up. Lindy Stitches, she shows you the pattern. She tells you what size it is, what threads, you know, what uh, fabrics they use and all. Does a real good job and is entertaining as all get out. Okay, this pattern, the picture is terrible. I'm sorry, but when... The colors. I'm in love with orange all of a sudden. Like I'm seeing this one and that one. This one is called um, Emmeline Emmeline Hotchkiss Le Coil Le Coil. I don't know how you pronounce that. 1846, a Canadian antique sampler reproduction. But look at those colors. They're like oranges and browns and butterscotches, and I can't wait. I love this one. Oh, I yeah, that's it. pretty. Okay. Now, Teresa Colbert who just is, you know, beyond excellent. She has some new books she's releasing at this market and all. I have some of her, those patterns already and everything. But um, those booklets look like they'd be a great buy for somebody. But she has this one pattern called Serenity, which is one of my favorite words. Just remaining serene in the middle of, you know, chaos around you and all. But uh, this is a sampler that is just, I love it. Can you, I don't know if you can see, but the little letters in the middle, how they're in block form, you know, like, I just love them. 
Teresa, thank you. That's a beautiful pattern. And, of course, my shades of blue and things. Okay, this one, Primrose Cottage. They have about 100 new The patterns are all darling. But this one is their new 12 monthly minis. So I, I just looked this one Prim up. Okay, Primrose, it's new. You know, if you don't find it, it's because it's new. No, no, I found the okay. stitch on it. Oh, okay. I have it. Oh, I'll tell so this one, back to uh, Hollow's Eve, Blueberry Ridge. This one that Molly so kindly showed is stitched on 40 count is the model. However, it's 226 by 163. So if you did that on 40 count or deemed 20, 20, 40, 60, 110, 11 by 24. So if I did it on 14, which I wouldn't, but if I did it on 14, it would be about 15 inches or so. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. either way, doable. Yeah. You know, very doable but size. Just, you know, I I'm, just I'll be it. doing that one, Molly. Well, that's cute. Glad Damn. you put me on to that one. <laughs> Write this date down. Somebody write oh, this date down. Oh, and I was going to look up this one, too. Okay. Um, so this one is Primrose Cottage. They have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of cute patterns. And just as a note, y'all know I'm a hands-on design fan girl. You know, love her stuff. I didn't download any of those patterns, but boy, she's got some cute new patterns. Some cute, cute, cute ones. Okay, this one is from Plum Street. And there was about six new Plum Street uh, patterns. She just came out that with That I wanted. I know. It's like I want all of her new ones. Is she the one who did the Flag Thief? Yes. Uh, yes. Plum Street. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I knew she, I knew I was a fan of hers, but I didn't realize how you many patterns. Didn't realize of, how much I of a own fan already in some of my favorite ones. But this one, anyway, more to the story. This one's called Stars. How pretty is that? Look at that barn or house. Excuse me with the quilt on. Look at the border. Oh my God, the painting at the top. Oh, I just love it. And this one, it looks little. They have it on a. I don't know. It looks little, but uh, I love this one. So. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to go through here fast. Okay, now this okay, pattern right here, up, so. I do not want to do the quote on it. That's my business. No, you know, I mean, everybody's got their own thing. But this is one of the reasons I want to do a fancy alphabet, I think. I'm seeing a lot of new new patterns that have You could a, just do the alphabet. They charted a, Well, I've seen some new patterns where they've charted, like they charted, you know, big M, a little D, a little, little, you know, all different sizes, but they're fancy letters. That's what I think I'm going to substitute in here for the Bible quote. Um, but look at the bottom of that sample. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. Emma Badman Watford from Erica Michaels. Erica Michaels, thank you so much. You're killing me, girl. On the subject of this sampler, uh, another one of my favorite floss tubes is uh, Kim the Contented Stitcher. If I, her birds, she has stitched so many um, charts of birds that are. Oh, they're so pretty. But you need to see her latest floss tube. It's beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Uh, um, we only got two left. So okay, just so with me. quick question. Quick question. Oh, shoot. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Go ahead, keep going. I'm, I'm working on this. I'm truly here, people. I'm down looking at my phone because I have a question about something that I think I have. And S T A R. Okay, stars. so uh, Celebration of Spring Cross Stitch Pattern by Samplers and Primitives, I guess is the maker of Samplers and Primitives. I love this pattern, and I love the border across the top, and I love the sunniness of it, and uh, I just, I like it. So, I got to get some things stitching so I can get these new patterns. Okay, and then the top of this one, I have never bought a Kathy Barrett pattern. I admire all her patterns, but I always feel like uh, I'm not worthy. I'm, I'm just, they're too, they're, they're beyond my capa you know, capacity or something. But I've got to get this pattern, okay. and I would tell you the name of it if I had been smart enough to copy it. It comes with another mm -hmm. pattern, like there's another pattern that comes in the book. But isn't that, you have to watch Lindy Stitches. That pattern is stunning. Yes. Oh, my God, those reds. Okay, that was it for my market. Okay, ones. I'm not crazy, so go back to this one. This is Plum Street Stars that is going to be released in Nashville. However... Stars and Stripes was released at one time about a, not quite a year ago by uh, Shakespeare's Peddler Kitten Stitcher Stars and Stripes and it's the same one so there was a booklet Stars and Stripes I was like I know I have that so well, I wonder if Kitten Stitcher still has it I don't know but Stars and Stripes it says exclusive to kittenstitcher.com from June 2023 20, to June of 24, so. Oh, June of 24, we got time, so we got time. It, it still should be available. I'm trying to, I'm trying to enlarge. Stitcher, yeah, 
He's so it's see this the ball one. How cute. So that's yeah. the stripes. Yeah. Yeah. I knew I wasn't crazy. And you get the and. and. How cute is yeah. that? The hamper stand. So you guys have to look. You have to do okay. Some so, so the moral to the story is sable stitchers. Um, I'm trying to do three and a half charts a month. So far this month, I've done one. If you consider half and a half, I've done one. I've got ten days left. Nine days left, whatever. Uh, so I got to, I'm going to want to finish one and get another one done. Or pretty dang close. Uh, next month, I don't have all the. I feel like I, I have a couple of card I can't participate because my samplers take long. Yeah, but they're beautiful. I'm looking at all the other stuff. Okay, now, anyway, the moral to the story is I've got to finish. If I want to buy all these, I'm telling myself I've got to finish 10 more things before I can buy I have these. patterns. But, okay, now, Kathy. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? <laughs> in I know. I came over to Molly's house. She was house. talking about her house. I made a mess. And this house. So, Molly says, do you want to come over and make tags? I'm like, what? I love making tags. I love tags? making tags. What? Well, you should like, you put your tags? Christmas ones away. away like, oh, I put my Christmas ones away. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, she invites me over to make tags. And I'm like, yeah, I'll go over and make tags. I'm not sure what I'm getting myself into. You yeah. know? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So, um, a tag is just something fun to look at, something pretty to look at. And let you get your creative juices out, use up your little special things. Use up your scraps, use up your, so here, this is my, once I got started knowing what a tag is, you just put them in a box, which I'm going to show you this box. Let's take this out. That's not pretty. That isn't pretty, Molly. But you put these here. all in the box. And you have this wonderful box so but look at this box so the woman goes and finds the perfect box or where, where did i go to i'm gonna say coles but i don't know i don't know it was something like coles or something i'd like, say for like you five dollars well you wouldn't expect to find a pretty box so we started to make these tags and look at this one so i'm gonna make i'm gonna make seasons i'm gonna make holidays a tag for each one and leave them in these boxes and i used my cutter and I cut out of felt ribbon. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I had a ball. I cut my Merry Christmas. And then I came over to Molly's house and stole her paper. So see, this was cut with a die cutting the machine. The die cut machine, yeah. Mm -hmm. but see, and here's my 4th of July. Look at Lady Liberty up there. Who has a charm for Lady Liberty? I did. Kathy. And this will be my patriotic, or excuse me, my um, St. Patty's day one. Got a couple charms. I'm going to put a uh, clover in the corner. Get it, clover in the corner. This was my Valentine one. This is actually an old piece of scrap. I used to make. Um, this was an old piece of scrap. Yeah, I, I thought I was so smart finding my old house. This is way better. So I used to make, I used to be in the Junior Women's Club up in Wisconsin for a few years and we got into the crafting part of it where we, we were judged we were judge or judged uh vendor because i had made scrap ornaments victorian scrap ornaments so i have scrapping material never in my wildest dreams that i think i would be like back to so that's an old piece of scrap but does I'm, everybody know what scrap is no it typically comes from germany printed them mm -hmm. die cut scrap pieces and they're embossed they have a little texture yeah. to them and you could buy sheets. These people would buy, kids and women would buy sheets and they would make their scrapbooks. And when you say sheets, it was like they were separate little motifs and they're all held together by these little paper chads yeah. that you cut apart and use right. these different motifs. And so all. there might have been 10 of these on a sheet. All different. All different. You know, just little yeah. Valentine things and all. Yeah. But for people like me and Kathy who collect up stuff or like little things, you could use a picture out of a magazine oh, yeah. or a greeting card or, a, yeah. you know, anything. Yep. But it lets you use all your pretty all things. All the other things that go with it. It lets you be creative. It lets you play. And they fit in a box. And they fit in a box. <laughs> and then you can leave through them all year long if you want to. But uh, I don't know if y'all can see it, but like Kathy even found a sticker here that says, you know, fragile, handle with care. Get it, it's hard. And the, so the tag, the heart says... You gave me the heart, Molly. But mm -hmm. then I did this one says February 14th on it. Isn't that pretty? Teeny, tiny. So it lets you just use up. Yeah, stuff. And a lot of these drawers behind you are filled with stuff. And this was my sewing one because I sew. Look at that. 
the little honking thing there. Yeah. A big brass to to tag. Uh huh. And this was just an old uh, picture frame. So I'm going to convert it over in my mind. Like if I was Jessica Provost or something, Jessica, I don't want to speak for you. Here. Just punch a few holes on this and it's a floss drop. You know? Oh, yeah. Uh, so it just, you know, because she was creating the prettiest little jewelry boxes and things. And this is an old piece of scrap, but I did die cut the snowflakes with my new machine. Yeah. And I wanted that one really primitive. So I've got sleigh bells at the top. But look at that old picture. Yep. And it just a little tag there. I'm gonna less is more sometimes. And just a little bit. It's just, just yeah, a little just bit. a little bit. You know. And I'm traveling. So cool. <clears throat> Those bells are yummy. Aren't they? They are. Traveling to Deutschlands for the Christkindle market, so I had a, this. I sold for Molly too. Well, I should. I this was mine. And it says, she dreams of faraway places and daring adventures. It's gonna be. And she's going to the Christmas, Christmas market in Germany. Christmas markets in Germany. Yep. So this was some scrapbook paper Excited I had about, about travel, so she made that. And this is an old piece of scrap. Isn't that a beautiful one? And it says on here, let your dreams take flight. Be yourself. Isn't that pretty? And Kathy, I just want to go back. I had so many old beautiful flowers and things. Yeah, she you know, let me take some like, flowers Whoa. that I didn't... And this was an old advertising topper from a bag that I actually bought the cat and the witch. And I cut the topper off and go ahead, Molly, made it into a tag, adding a bunch of junk. See, I love those. See how it wraps around? Yep. Isn't that darling? And this was, I think you told me this was scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby you know. Lobby. I got a hunk of that if you want to make yours out. I don't oh, know yay, you want thank do. you, thank you. And then um, this one is Perfumes and Floor a Florist. And I thought, how cool would it be to put the little cameo button in there that I didn't have no idea what I was going to do with that. But isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. Sweet See the sweet. little cameo molly that I tucked in there? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with the back. I was going to ask the expert opinion. That I can use. And I want to so, just back up. Look at that cat and those charms and things. Isn't yeah. that darling? I just love this. So just fun for that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not done with this one. This is my chocolate Easter bunny. Now he was cut out with the cricket. With the cricket. Mm -hmm. yep. Just a big old chocolate Easter bunny. Yep. And this is an old scrap egg. And then Molly was saying how we know we save things from cards. Well, I had this A Dad Stops at Nothing card that my two granddaughters gave to my husband one year for Father's Day. And I saved the card and I took the, I want to put a picture of my dad up in the, where it's spotted up here, where it's his uh, number one dad. Now let me back up for a second. Yeah. Your daughters, your daughter-in-law, your granddaughters, how did you get this dad? My granddaughters gave that to my husband as a Father's Day card. And you're going to use it for a picture of your dad? I'm going to put my dad in there, okay. yeah. But, I, and I think what I like about this is, like I say, at Christmas, I put out a box and it's got tags. Yeah, I add a couple to it. But some of our tax friends have made me. They're just, what a wonderful oh. mem memory it is. And Molly and I are going to do one for each other. Which I am so under you get pressure. To, you I'm get, so under pressure. Yeah, I can't. You get to pick the holiday or the season. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, so I'll always have one of Molly's in my box. And then this is um, a B, the B one. And it just says B at the top. Oh, wait, does he turn it up? It says hard work and stay bump. Work hard and stay bumble. And yeah. Stay bumble. Yeah. But look at the front of that B charm. Oh, my stars and bars. Isn't and that look at pretty? that beautiful old beaded and B. And it's fluffy. It's felted. It's like a fluffy one. Uh -huh. But see, there again, this was just a little piece of scrapbook paper. Yep. That, you know, I can't throw away scraps. Well, and this lady came off of a bag from Victorian Papers. Couldn't get rid of it. Mm -mm. And she's sitting there smelling the flower. Now, I, honestly, we have Molly's going to help me fill in the middle there with something. Gotta oh, yeah, we got, we got yeah. stuff. We got we stuff. Gotta figure that out. But I just love, like, Kathy has, she wasn't a paper crafter. No. She was a collector. Yeah. You know, she, and that what charm, did they say? It curated a collection of. Yeah. And that charm know. says something, just breathe. So just she's breathe. sniffing the flower. But Isn't that just pretty? Breathe. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Kathy. And then this is an Easter one. Now, this is an old, you know, I say it doesn't seem like it's old, but it, 
It's not as old as what the old antique ones are. This was Victorian scrap, and when you think back, it's at least 30 some years old. That would be the, yeah, because uh, I was doing it when 90s? I was. I bet it's older than that. Yeah, could be. Yeah, 1990s. yeah. from I when I that. got it, it was old. Yeah. Then, but I did it, cut what out. What I'm showing you is that I don't know if you can see, but there's yeah, always a little texture. texture to them. I love that. And then I did cut out the fence on the bottom with my big shot. And it's not fence; it's grass like, and flowers. Uh -huh. Yeah, with the big shot. So isn't that pretty? Just darling. So I am just loving. Watching Kathy get so, that's so kind of it. I, This is the dog. There's always a dog in the house. And mm -hmm. we've got to figure out what to do with this one. I wanted this one because my daughter-in-law sent me a Christmas gift that had a cherry on the box. You can see this cherry was adhered. And I thought, oh, that'd be a great way to keep. So I, that one i got to figure out yet. I need some time. And when I'll I figure it out. What I like, like I say, is when you set this box out, and your kids are going to go, whatever, whatever. I know. But they're going to look through and go, oh, that's, I yeah. gave you that. Yeah, you know, it's like, so it lets you oh, get your memory. Oh, I gave you that memory. card. Uh -huh. with the Father's Day. And this is so. So that's, and then I, like I said, I found this box for, it was T.P. Charlie at somewhere. Oh, wait, you just threw oh. a thing on the ground. Oh, that's the shamrock. Wait, don't hit me with the box. Yes. <clears throat> I got it, I got it. Oh. Found this box, and they're going to fit perfect side by side, and. So she has produced all these in how much time? Two well, weeks? we started in about two weeks, but I'll tell you, it's a lot of work. You think? Yeah. It's well, fun, but it is a lot of work. What I get tickled with is women just like me, we sit there and act like the decision, should I put this here or there? Yeah. Like you're not, this is not world peace you're figuring out. Just stick the damn gun thing down. But, but it is fun to get to use your artistic brain. Yeah, and in a different play, way. And play. And, I um... I will say this much, the instant gratification, That's which is nice. Cross stitch is wonderful. Quilting is, oh, and I did pick up my quilt. I'll bring that one next video. Okay. Maybe I'll have the binding on it. Oh, good. Um, mm -hmm. But it does give you that instantaneous gratification of, yeah, of. I'm going to drop this in there. Yeah. Okay. I gotta, Molly's got to help me with that, too, of getting something done. And now I'm kind of looking forward to it. I made a list of the ones I want to make yet. I have to make one for Mother's Day. I have to make one for, I don't even know what I else said. And uh, Flag Day. Flag Day? Mm-hmm. But uh, let me see if I can. So Molly's. No, so mine are too, too simple because I haven't been playing them. Ah! I'm knocking over my whole thing. Well, let me move my junk and then you can have. Oh, did you notice? This one is a song behind Merry Christmas. And there's a trumpet up there tagged on. Did you notice that I have a trumpet? Yes. Okay. okay. That was, the, I think, the first, first one I looked at. When I said, Look at that at the top of there. And this one has the little raven on top, perched on top. The Isn't spells. Just, oh, just love it. Spooky so spells. while she was playing on that, I was working on some other stuff I was trying to do. And I have, uh, like, I have a card class. I'm going to be, I got to make some more cards. I have to make my, you know, I was doing some other stuff while she was playing on this, but I had to play on some of them. You know? Yeah. This is not finished. But Look what I did off. was I've got like two photo frames in here, so I'll be putting pictures. So some of mine, you see, I'll have a picture there and there. Uh, but I love using metals and different scraps and things. Mm -hmm. And then of course I got to punch my holes and put my ribbon in. All. But I just love having little things that uh, I can play with. Kind of I thing. Know. And this one right here, I showed Kathy a friend from um, England had sent me this. This is one of the ones she sent me. Oh, it's and got, it's, it's got a King George, uh, Queen Elizabeth's daddy, a coin. And I, oh, And yeah. then she, this one right here, she had stamped it right here with a beautiful saying that said that every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. Well, it was stamped crooked. Well, I am so darn dang, that was bugging me. It's, I need to let go and have the courage. Well, I found in my stuff this little metal strip and it says, embrace imperfection. <laughs> oh. Oh, <that's laughs> so, yes, so sir. <laughs> so I had to put that on there. You know. But it was a friend from England sent this to me. That was so it's like, I love that. You know, so she created a piece of art for yeah. me. But uh, anyway, Kathy, that was fun. Yeah. We're up to like 13 hours. We're good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Hope we didn't bore you to death. Sorry, we didn't visit much about ourselves or anything. No. But, uh, anything kind else fun right in? with you? No. Yeah. No. Just well, got a birthday. I had that. Yeah. yeah. Um, nothing yeah. really too new. My granddaughter had a birthday. We partied at uh, one of the play places. and yeah. uh, so. One of the things that was fun for me is uh, one of the clubs that I'm in, President of 
but um, is the West Side Welcome Club. I love those ladies, love them. But at our Valentine luncheon, it just happened that our monthly luncheon fell on February 14th. We went to Artovino's oh, Desert yeah. Crossing. Desert Crossing down there, it's nice. It was delicious. But uh, we had a soprano come sing to us. Oh, I saw pictures of that. Oh on my your God, post. she was fabulous. Yeah, she was good. The only problem was I knew the songs and I had to not sing. Oh. Everybody else in the room was doing the same thing I was. It was like, so you had to shut your mouth? Hard for us to shut our mouths. I said, no, 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 I don't sound like that at all. But uh, it was, that <laughs> lunch was so there? fun. Who was the out and sang. Yeah. We always have fun coffees Shore and lunches and stuff like that. And all. What are we doing? We're going to the horse races soon. That's going to oh, be fun. Yeah. And uh, we're going to the Amazon Center to watch the, you know, watch my boxes get ready to come to me. Yeah. So it's always fun stuff we're doing. And all. But yeah. that luncheon was really was delicious nice and fun. Okay, no. I think that's it for us. Thank y'all all. Oh, and for don't watching. forget, mm. we're trying to creep up to that 10,000 subscribers. We're slowly getting there, so don't forget to subscribe if you like what you saw. We don't always show scrapping stuff, so not to be alarmed that it will be nothing. <laughs> we, but, we're trying to but get it where you are didn't a have to bit. watch it if you didn't want yeah. to. Yeah. Um, subscribe, like, share with your friends, and help us get to 10. I think we do have a a couple of giveaways packed away for our if we want if and when we reach our ten thousand. One of the things I have to do, Kathy, is I did um, saying this. There's a moral to this. I mean, I'm trying to get to a point. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I pulled yeah. out a quilt the other day. I was going to put a binding on a quilt. That was one of my favorite oh, yeah. finishes. Well, I had cut the binding to be wide. Well, when I got to the corners, I'm like, this is not working out like I want. This is too hard. So I called a friend of mine who does binding, and I said, okay. How much do you charge for binding? And she told me how much she charges, and I thought to myself, well, I'm going to cut my body down and do it. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to having this regular size binding. What is it, two inch binding, two inch? You cut it two inches? You cut it two uh, and a half or two and a two quarter? Two and a half, so it two comes down half? to one and a quarter. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, then it comes down to less when you see yeah. it. And all. But Don't anyway, work. but I thought, Molly, you know, for it. the price that I could pay, which was not a bad price, but yeah. I could buy... A lot of patterns. These patterns. Those patterns. <laughs> yeah. These patterns for what would probably take me an hour and a half of right. just pulling get it around done. and just do just it. Get and it I done. enjoyed I like I said, I enjoy pinning my samplers onto form core. I enjoy hand sewing trim. I enjoy hand sewing my binding. Okay, Kathy's so, over there hand sewing. I I'm went to about, Las Cruces. Be so creative. A girl there named Stephanie. Love her to death. Oh, my God. I wish she lived closer. I think she does live in El Paso, actually. But anyway, so she showed me how to do binding. She machine stitches the whole thing. But she actually stitches the edge, folds over the folded edge, and glues it down first with that glue I use. Yeah. And then sews on top of that. And then sews on top of it. I said, I love her. I like how she thinks. <laughs> and she's a professional quilter. It does say fabric glue. <laughs> Yeah. Fabric fix, I believe, is yeah. what you like. But it to doesn't do. ever show through. Yeah, that, no, it does not true. show through. Okay, so, we're rambling. Anyway. Thank y'all so much for watching. Yeah. I hope if you all if you have a back. wish list for uh, the Nashville market, I hope y'all all do what Kathy does. And what I need to do is go back through our own patterns. You know, I don't know if you can see them right there behind Kathy's head. Can you see those notebooks? Binders of One, pattern. two, three, four, five of them are filled with cross stitch patterns. I have six. Well, seven, my point is, I've been cross. Yeah, Ben. But my point is, you would think in there I'd have enough to keep me busy for the rest of my life. But some of we these keep, new patterns. We keep coming out with new stuff that we love. And our tastes change. Well, you that's know, what I was going to tell thing. you. Is, uh, taste will change. So and that's I okay. was going to be telling a story, and I kind of went around the traffic circle and got lost for a minute. But what I was going to tell you is one of the things with quilting is I've got to buy my quilt. But I also, I have to make some project bags. I must. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, one of the things I'd like to do for a giveaway is make a, I can make a project bag project to send somebody. Well, no promises really it'll be pretty, yeah. but uh, it'll be from, yeah. you know, And people people. love project bags, so and, uh, we do too. So Kathy's holding us to, uh, we got to get to 10,000 before she'll let us send out any more presents. But uh, <gasps> I think I looked. Yesterday or this morning, whenever we're at eight, we're at eight thousand eight hundred and something, or eight eighty something yeah. like that. It's eight hundred and eight thousand eight hundred. I can't even get it out. But anyway, we love every one of you. Thank you so much. Comments, for the comments. are wonderful. Keep I the will, comments coming. I will love be that. posting. I, I don't know that I'll put all the colors at the bottom, but I have these sheets that I use for myself. They're on my blog. You can download them free. You know, just I, I made them up for myself, but. Uh, I'm going to post the one that has the colors I used on the Be Not A Dunce. 
One of our oh, listeners, yeah. I got so quite a few tickled. of them like when the Kath, When Kathy was saying that about the berry blog, the uh, cranberry blog, bog, and I was like, what the hell did she just say? <laughs> One of our th ladies said, when I said, be not a dunce, she thought I said, be not a duck. <laughs> and I said, well, be not a duck makes sense too. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to be a duck. Yeah. But anyway, uh, but I will post that page. But the moral to the story is those threads were in my stash and they perfectly matched oh. that fabric. So I would encourage you. Use the threads that you have yeah. and match the fabric that you have, and you will be pleased. Well, and you know? the same with the uh, flight into Egypt. Mm -hmm. There were a couple colors that I did not have. Mm -hmm. Use what you've got. Use what you got. And or, I'm mm -hmm. really a perfectionist when it comes to, we talked about I did rip out in air twice. Frog came maybe three times. I'm that much of a perfectionist. If it's not pinned right, I'll repin. So... But I'm okay with letting go on colors not perfect, but it works. So please use from your stash and, and be content. She's talking about ripping out a stitch. Jean Lee from the attic gave me permission through Mrs. Flossie. Always forward, never backwards. Uh, I, I don't own that pattern, by the way. No. <laughs> Oh, but uh, you don't want us to rip that thing out. I, I, me and the frog have a good relationship. Okay, y'all have a yeah. wonderful, wonderful day. I'm going to try to get this uploaded quick. And yep. uh, say a prayer. I can get at least one more thing finished this month. It's, yep. uh, I got to. I got to. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. One.